Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has been responding to the surge in COVID-19 cases associated with the fourth wave, which commenced on July 25, 2021. Principal Nursing Officer Julieta Fedricasia says the routine services continue to be delivered. The current COVID-19 situation has placed severe pressure on the already limited staff complement. Additionally, facilities have been severely impacted given that some staff members have periodically been placed in quarantine or isolation. In response to this situation and to improve efficiency in the delivery of care, the Ministry of Health shall temporarily close the following community wellness centers. Lage Babuno, Tiroche Castries, Delsa Soufre, and Fossinjac Soufre. Clients of these wellness centers are asked to access care at another wellness center within the district. During the closure of these wellness centers, the health aides will continue to provide screening services within the communities. Additionally, the ministry has taken the decision to scale down the services offered at select wellness centers. This will allow for the reassignment of staff to facilities and sites with higher service demand, including vaccination sites and respiratory clinics. Core health services will still be provided at these wellness centers, which include the continuation of diabetes, hypertension, and other chronic care services, as well as maternal and child health services. The clinic days for these wellness centers are as follows. Canaris Wellness Center, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Vana Wellness Center, Mondays and Tuesdays. Etang's Wellness Center, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Saltibus Wellness Center Tuesdays, the Grace Wellness Center on Wednesdays, the Tiroche Miku Wellness Center on Mondays and Thursdays, and the Mongoj Wellness Center on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. All scheduled doctor's clinics will remain as per schedule. This scale down will be for a period of two weeks in the first instance, commencing Monday, September 20th, 2021, and at the end of the period, an assessment will be done to determine the need for its continuity. The Ministry of Health recognizes that these changes may be inconvenient for some members of the public, but requests patience and cooperation as we attempt to meet the healthcare service needs to respond to the COVID-19 situation in St. Lucia. Principal Nursing Officer Julieta Frederick Cassius.